Hey guys, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I still have a little bit of a cold. I am going on to week four. My allergies are also kicking my butt and I had a cold sore this week. It was just a rough week in general. So I've kind of been holding off recording videos. Again, the show must go on. I am like falling apart, but I feel like this is a video I just have to do. I have to put out. It's so exciting. I have 16 sales over $25. I am also including two bonus sales at the end that were for $150 each, but they're not actually clothing related. Okay, let's kick this off. Let's go right into the sales. I don't want to waste any of your time. First bundle sold for $115, which is pretty good. First item was a Lululemon purple crop hoodie in a size large. This item actually had a little bit of bleach on the sleeve, which I had disclosed in the listing and photos, everything like that. Second item was a Bella Amour taupe crochet long sleeve blouse. This was in a size medium. Third item was an Aritzia Babaton Everly camisole. This was in a size medium. And the fourth item in this bundle was a pair of Cloud Veil gray hiking shorts in a size XL. This is such a cool bundle. A couple of these pieces I've had for more than six months, so I was really happy to give her a deal on it. Some of these sales are actually gonna cover into the end of my July long sale. I extended it by a couple days, I think till Tuesday. Was still sending out messages till Tuesday, giving people that 40% discount for the Canada Day long weekend sale. All right, that is the first bundle. Great bundle to kick off this video with. The second sale, was a Laundra Black Minimalist One Piece Swimsuit. This was in a size triple XL. If you have not heard of it, you need to write it down. They are a Vancouver based business. They sell amazing swimsuits. I have been watching their website. I've just need to pull the trigger on one of these. They retail anywhere from like, I think a hundred dollars, like a hundred dollars to maybe up to $200. And the bathing suits are made from all recycled materials, recycled plastics. So environmentally friendly, women owned, like there's just so many great things about this. Again, you have to check out this, this swimwear. They, it's, it's gorgeous. I can't even believe I came across one of these pieces and it was new with tags. This swimsuit sold for $75 and it's probably my favorite sale this week out of the whole video that one is probably my favorite <laughs> not saying that this video is going downhill from here lots of great sales all right next bundle was a two-piece bundle it sold for $48 it's two Lululemon tank tops one is a Swiftly Tech blue tank top in a size four and the other one is a Lululemon just racer back purple tank top in a size four as well uh, I was hoping to get a little bit more for these pieces. Happy to just kind of keep that summer stuff th rolling through the closet. As long as I'm selling these items pretty quickly, like within a couple weeks, I will take a smaller profit margin because to me, those are pretty low risk items that are flipping through and bringing some money into my business. The next sale was another bundle and this was a really cool bundle. Both of these very summery items. First is a Lululemon All Yours tee. This is a tie dye top. It wasn't a size medium. I wish it fit me because this top had my name all over it. I love the colors. It's just a gorgeous piece. And the second item in this bundle was a pair of Lululemon and new shorts. These were four inches in a size six. And this bundle sold for $60. Next up is another bundle. Uh, you can tell I was running a sale on bundles because there's a lot of bundles this week where I haven't seen a ton of bundles in the last few weeks. I guess when you promote it, that's when you start to get the most of it. If I'm not promoting bundles, that's definitely where I see that decline. Okay, so this next one is a two-piece bundle. In it is a vintage boutique of leathers red leather jacket. And the second item was a vintage plaid wool blend blazer. I love both of these pieces so much. This bundle sold for $100. I was happy to see these pieces going to their next home. Both of these items I've probably had for over four or five months for sure. Next up is a Lululemon full support gray bra. This was in a size 38C. It sold for $41. That's a fantastic sale. I don't tend to grab a lot of Lululemon bras just because my cost of goods is so high. I don't know, but My Value Village marks these bras anywhere from like $13.99. I've seen them up to like $21.99. Like they are cray cray. They are so crazy. 
I don't know where they're coming off with this pricing. Yeah, I don't find them often. This one I had found on a good deal and made a pretty good profit on that one. Next up is a three piece bundle. This sold for $80. In the bundle is an Aritzia Wilfred Gray Margot camisole top. This was in a size small. Second item is a pair of Levi's 505 jean shorts. These I made myself. And the third item is a pair of Levi's cut off jean shorts. And these are in a size 32. Sorry, both jean shorts were in a size 32. And both of these were converted jeans that I had done myself. This bundle sold for $80, which is pretty good. Um, some more summer items heading out to their next home. Next up is a vintage weekend Aztec green fleece sweater. This was in a size small, it sold for $30. I am always looking for these kind of pieces. I love that kind of West Coast style, little bit of a vintage vibe, the color, the Aztec, everything about this. If I can find these sweaters every time I went thrifting, I would be one happy reseller because they just sell now this i've had for quite a while and i think it was a little bit of the fit of it it's kind of a longer style but like narrow like it would be really good on someone that's like an x small to a small i think it was just the dimensions it was a little bit of a longer style all right next up is a pair of lululemon spring breakaway shorts these were in a size six they sold for 41 dollars. i just listed these last week so really quick flip Next sale is a pair of Cavu Beach Aberdeen cotton stripe shorts. These were in a size small. I've had these since summer or like early spring, sorry. And I actually sourced them for probably $8. So this was not a good investment. I think when shorts first came out in Valley Village, I was so excited for summer items that I was paying ridiculous prices for probably items that didn't hold that value. I made a few mistakes. These are one of them. I did make back my investment and a little bit, but not very much. This, this I think should have been like a two or $3 item. All right, next up is a pair of Levi's 501 straight leg ankle crop jeans. These are in a size 25. I am loving the Levi's and so is everyone else. If you are outsourcing, I think you should be looking for Levi's. I think we all look for Levi's, but you need to be looking for Levi's. And these are things, again, that I would pay up for a little bit. I would pay $20 to $25. My payout from Posh is $40 after fees. And if I'm paying $20 to $25, that is $20 or like, I guess, depending, $15 to $20 profit. And they're selling quickly. Like I do not have these sitting in my closet for very long. So to me, these are worth the investment. I don't think I would pay more than $25, honestly. And I'm definitely shooting for that like $20 price range. And if I have a coupon, great. If the store is having a 30% off sale, that's even better. But yeah, Levi's is like turning into one of my top selling jean brands right now. Next up is another pair of Levi's. These were wedgie straight leg jeans. They were in a size 30. I thrifted them for myself. They didn't fit me the way I wanted them to. And I was able to sell them for $63. So that was, that was a pretty good flip. And again, I don't think these were listed very long. I think I only had them listed for like a week or two. I would say Levi's in sizes 28 and up are ones that you're probably gonna get more money for. And just because it's harder to come across these in the secondhand market, there are a ton of like size 24 to 26, maybe even up to like 27, but like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32s those are hard to find. There's not very many of them. And I would make sure you're pricing those ones accordingly. All right. Next up is a two piece bundle. This one sold for, let's see, $95. In the bundle is an Aritzia Wilfred Saturn mini dress in the color nude. This is in a size large. I just listed this a couple days ago. And as I'm looking at it, it has 12 likes on it. That's so crazy. Uh, I had a feeling that this dress was going to sell quickly. I actually sourced this for myself and like washed it and just never tried it on and I've had it for three months I finally tried it on the other day and I just didn't really like how it fit me and the material to me just yeah I don't know just didn't like didn't like it and uh, so I decided to list it and then the second piece in this bundle is a pair of Aritzia denim forum 
the Joni High Rise Loose Legs 29L in a size 31. I actually sourced this for myself too. These are two items that were actually originally sourced for myself. Um, these jeans, I didn't really, again, I didn't really like how they looked. I kind of envisioned them to look differently, but I'm so short. I'm like five foot three, five four. And I don't know, wide leg jeans just don't, this don't look good on me. And maybe it's like, because I'm a little bit of a bigger size. I'm not like a size 26, but they just, I don't know, they aren't flattering. I can't, I don't know. I'm on the hunt for some good jeans. If you are a mid-sized woman and uh, you have a brand or a style that you really enjoy and you are shorter, like under 5'4", drop it in the comments. Let me know. I am looking for a nice straight leg jean. And I wouldn't even mind if the denim had just like a smidge of stretch to fit around my bum and my hips. That like, I feel like that's not too much to ask for, but it literally is too much to ask for because I can't find anything that I absolutely love. And I think when you're spending, like to me, if you were buying these brand new and if I'm spending over a hundred dollars on a pair of jeans, I better feel like a million bucks in them. Like I better feel fabulous. So yeah. I'm just on the hunt and uh, I will take any tidbits from you guys if you have any advice. Okay, moving along. Next bundle is a two-piece bundle. This sold for $80 and this sold to my girl, Kay Breezy 26. I absolutely adore her. She has bought multiple bundles from me and she got a really good deal on this. So she bought a shirt for me a couple months or maybe it was like a month ago and I had sold the item on Facebook like two months prior and forgot to delist it on Poshmark. So I told her that I would give her a good deal or that she could purchase something that was more expensive out of my closet. And at that time, there was nothing that she was looking for. And she reached out to me and she's like, hey, remember that sale that you didn't have? And I was like, absolutely. She's like, hey, I have a bundle. Can you send me an offer? I'm like, yes, girl. I got you. I am sending you a good offer. I am so sorry for that first canceled sale, but happy that we could make this one work. So the first item is a Lululemon gray short sleeve crew neck in a size medium. And the second piece in the bundle, which I've only had listed for like a day, is a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under high rise crop leggings. And these are in a size 12. So both fabulous pieces. Every time I get Lululemon, there's like certain people that think that I think about in my mind and girl, you are one of them. I And when you messaged me about this bundle, I was like, yes, this is, her bundle. This is definitely all of her pieces. Okay, moving along, we're going to go into my Facebook marketplace sales. First item is a pair of Levi's wedgie straight leg black jeans. These are in a size 29 and they sold for $65, which is pretty good. I like that. And the one of the good things about Facebook here in my region is that we don't have seller fees. So we don't pay that five or 10%. That's like the best thing about Facebook sales. And then the next item is a pair of Lululemon Choose a Side shorts. Uh, these are three inch and they are like reversible. So you can wear them pink or like this teal color and they sold for $40. So really good sales. That's like $100 one day. I just cross listed these last night actually. I listed like 25 items I think over to Facebook Marketplace. So since yesterday, $100, nice and easy. I like that. And then we're gonna go into the two sales that are not clothing related. So we have a bunch of items that we're kind of like going through our house, trying to get rid of. And the first is, it was a two piece set. It's Ikea Trofast container or toy storage container set. If you have kids, there's a good chance that you own these or if you've had kids, uh, we've had these for like, I don't even know, like 15 years and they've been sitting empty for like, so it was time to get rid of them. I had a gentleman come pick them both up and he paid $140 for both of these. And then the last sale that we're going to talk about is this wall mount foldable bench seat. So I don't know if you guys know, but Jeff and I purchased an ambulance, which we are converting into a van life kind of thing. We're doing pine inside. It's going to have a bed and like a cooking area and we're going to use it for road trips and camping. Some of our road trips are going to be thrift related and some of them are just going to be like outdoor exploration. And we're actually starting a second channel where we're going to be doing all of our ambulance stuff. 
I have a bunch of footage. I have not released the video, but we are going to do that in the next couple of weeks. I promise as soon as I put out a video, I will let you guys know and encourage all of you to drop over into our other channel. So anyways, this bench came out of our ambulance and it was in really good condition. It was spring loaded. It was just, it had a lot of potential to work for someone else and we were able to sell the bench for $150. That actually, a lot of this money that we get from cash sales, we're putting into um, the build of our ambulance and the different things. So right now we wanna buy an on-demand hot water tank so that we can have outdoor showers and hot water to wash dishes. And we're gonna use the proceeds from this sale to go towards our hot water tank. Okay, so those are the sales. I feel like it's been a pretty good week despite kind of being in the middle of summer slowdown. Sales are up and down. So what I did this week was I extended my Canada Day sale to like Tuesday. So I was still sending out the message to people like, hey, bundle or happy Canada Day, you know, bundle, save 40%. After that, I decided that I was gonna continue on a sale and I'm probably gonna continue this sale through summer and I am offering 30% off on all bundles. So anyone that likes an item now, uh, probably like once or twice a day, I go to my shoppers feature, I add all the likes in that time period to a bun to bundles or whatever. And then I send a message into that bundle just saying like that I'm running a summer sale bundle and save 30%. Uh, I think I'm going to do this to hopefully keep those sales strumming along. I also have my automation set up to send 25% off offers to anyone that likes items. So if they don't like that 25% offer, they can add another item to the bundle and save another 5%. And that's probably the extent of what I'll go. I might do like an August long sale, same as July, and do 40% off and then really just try and clear out my summer stuff. But yeah, that's my plan for the summer. Uh, some of the changes I've made, you guys know this, I changed my ASP. So I started to source really smart and trying to source items that are only, you know, that are going to sell for over $45. I do obviously have items that sell for less than that. But my goal is to try and source consistent items. I know which brands are selling. I'm doing brand research. I'm looking up categories and finding out what items and styles are selling currently in that category. And then when I go out sourcing, I'm applying that. I'm also doing comp searching on the items that I'm picking up to make sure that I feel confident that they are going to sell relatively quickly and for the profit margin that I kind of have set in my mind. But yeah, I think summer is a time to be smart. It's a time to work smart. It's a time to do your research. Don't take a lot of risks and uh, save that for, you know, the end of the summer when sales to start to pick up again. But items that I'm finding selling quite a bit are like Lululemon, Levi's, Aritzia uh, dresses, neutral tones are still doing really well for me. Uh, what else? Summery stuff. Uh, I say I'm not sourcing shorts, but I think that if I come across, you know, brand name shorts that are in good condition in a desirable color or like a trending color, I would probably grab them. Uh, I don't think I would be buying like older style stuff. Like I know Lulu shorts that are like five or six, seven, eight years old. I don't think I would be paying up for those items. And a lot of this advice all changes if you're shopping at the bins and you're getting your items for a dollar. I mean, go bonkers is what I say because your risk is pretty low. But if you are like me and you're doing traditional thrift store shopping, I think right now we just need to be smart. And the other little kind of like thing that plays in my head right now is that if we are heading into a, a recession, uh, also with inflation being super high, I think this is going to have a trickle effect into people's spending habits. So make sure you're doing your research and you know what's selling and that you're feeling good about your purchases. But yeah, that's kind of, that's my advice. That's my tips. That's what I'm doing right now. I'd love to hear what's working for you guys or what you're doing right now for the summer. Drop it down below in the comments. Let's share and grow together because that's what reselling community is all about, guys. All right. I think that is it. I am out of here. I am wishing you guys many sales and I'll see you next time. Bye. The doors that finally hung.